Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, child, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me. I sewed these dolls myself and as I was sewing them they would not stop talking to me and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series. So far I have book one, two, and three. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series is a sensuous, juicy, provocative story about human evolution. I cannot promise you that you would like it, darling, but I promise not to bore you. The Jungle Beauty Goddess book series led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck that I am going to use today to give you a message from your inner teacher. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Select a divine feminine butterfly that resonates with your inner teacher. The links are located in the description box for each butterfly color. Thank you for watching. Hello darling. If you selected the corduroy hot pink butterfly, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition with a message from your inner teacher. So the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And her message to you from your inner teacher is, you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. The next card I have from you, for you, I'm sorry, from your inner teacher is from Dematter who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. And his message to you is silence is unspeakable power. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is be unpredictable. And the last card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. Again, so you're pulling in second chakra energy, which has to do with our relationships with other people, our emotion, um, codependency, spontaneity is the cure for everything. 
So basically the energy I'm picking up from your hand is that your inner teacher wants you to look for patterns in relationships. Your inner teacher feels that, let me just, how do I say this? That you are in a situation where you have been telling the person over and over again the same thing. Like, you know, if you keep doing this, then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this. Like, it, may, it could be a job, it could be a relationship. But whatever the situation is, a situation where you are in a circle and you're in a pattern and you keep repeating yourself and nothing is changing nothing is changing and your inner teacher wants you to actually be silent and look for the patterns look for the relationships look at the interconnections and look at your role and what is happening one of the things that came to me is that um, look at the common denominator look at um, Look at yourself and the role that you are playing in this pattern that continues to play in your life. And even though you are blaming other people or another person, you are, have not looked at the role that you are playing to continue this, I want to say, unhealthy relationship, um, this unproductive relationship this relationship where you keep trying to explain yourself you keep trying to get the other person to see your point of view um, you keep blaming I, I don't want to say listen I, I want to be careful with that I don't want to say you're blaming but your inner teacher message that I am picking up from this hand is that you really need to look within yourself and look at the role that you are playing look how you have contributed contributed to this continuous pattern of behavior in your life that's all I'm saying whatever it is whether it's a job and you keep telling them look I need more hours or I need you to treat me better whether it's a relationship if it's a neighbor they're saying there's a that you are contributing to the pattern and they want you to look for the pattern your inner teacher wants you to look you know at how you um, fit into this scenario but the thing that's really interesting is once you look into the pattern of behavior your inner teacher wants you and once you see your role and once you see your relationship they want you to change what is happening silence is unspeakable power they don't want you to talk anymore they don't want you to talk anymore. They don't want you to say, you know, hey, stop throwing, you know, paper. <laughs> you know, telling people, you know, stop doing this or stop doing that. Telling the class to be quiet. They don't want you to do, to do that anymore. They want you to be silent and to change your action. They want you to look at the negative self-talk, your, um, your core beliefs. Like, look at what's going on inside of you. Become silent, change you, and change the situation. So, and they want your actions to speak. They want your actions to change. And once your actions change, not your words, but once your actions change, the pattern will change. The, the actually the pattern will go away because you, the you you know you're no longer in the equation. So, um, and once you change your behavior. Whether this is like instead of telling somebody that you're quitting, just look for a job and, you know, give them your two-week notice. Um, rather, it is deciding, um, you, you know, you're telling somebody, you know, to please, you know, leave the toilet seat down. I'm just thinking of any scenario. But basically what they want you to do is not to tell them anymore, but to actually do, to do something about it. But first, do something about you. So the card that says... Um, you don't find love, you resonate love and it finds you. So this is what they're saying. When you when you change yourself, you give out a frequency and a vibration that attracts p different people to you. So when you change you, you're no longer, you know, telling other people that, you know, don't do this to me. Don't treat me like this. They're, they're going to pick that energy up from you. Even like in the classroom. Most seasoned teachers know that you don't tell your students, you don't yell at the students, you get quiet. You become extremely silent and you shh. And when you're silent, 
it really if you if you have control over your class your students are going to wonder like oh, okay what's going on right because there there's a power that, that comes from being silent so your inner teacher is saying be quiet lovingly look at the situation lovingly look at the role you're playing look at your core beliefs look at your thoughts look at your negative self-talk ask yourself you know maybe how you how have somehow you know what are you getting out of this pattern that's another thing your inner teacher wants you to look at sometimes people don't understand that they are getting something out of the situation that they're kind of embarrassed about so once you figure out okay this is what I'm getting out of this pattern of behavior that is not benefiting me your inner teacher says be unpredictable darling I need you to do something different not don't pick up the phone this time when they call you know what I'm saying like whatever the situation is your inner teacher is saying be unpredictable She's also telling you spontaneity is the cure for everything. So your inner teacher is begging you to shh, be quiet, not do the same, not say the same things over and over again. And don't forget, silence is unspeakable, unspeakable power. You have a really good hand. So whatever is going on, change your thoughts right look at it lovingly look at the patterns so when they do this i do that when they do this i say that when they you know look at all of that lovingly don't blame yourself don't get down on yourself none of that say so, oh, okay next time i'm going to and just be silent and change your actions change your thoughts and the situation is going to alleviate itself that is the message from your inner teacher. And now I'm going to give you the message from your star alien being. This is the message from your star alien being. Figure out what you want to give in a relationship and why you want to give it. Write down what you expect from others and why this is important to you. Your inner teacher wants you to teach the lessons of give and take and reciprocity. Do you feel like you're getting what you deserve? Why or why not? You need to look at patterns in your life without judgment, with love and compassion. Rewrite the script. Create a map to your heart that includes your boundaries and your expectations. This is an internal job, not an external job. You don't question or blame other people's motives. You ask yourself, what is my role in this equation? What frequency am I vibrating to attract this behavior, this lesson? Let go of behaviors and thoughts that no longer serve you. Your frequency is your consciousness. What are, you, what are your dominant thoughts about life, love, and yourself? Your world is a reflection of your unconscious beliefs. Change your thoughts, change your life. I really hope this video helped you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the black butterfly with the hot pink tiger stripes, this reading is for you. First, I'm going to go over your cards, and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. The first card I have for you it's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby, and her message to you from your inner teacher is Anger means a boundary has been crossed. You must fix it. The next card I have from you, for you from your inner teacher is from Demater. He is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. And his message to you is never choose power over love. The next message I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar's message to you from your inner teacher is be original, darling. And the last message I have for you from your inner teacher 
It's from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is do something physical that brings you pleasure. So the collective message I have for you from your inner teacher is that your inner teacher is saying that you have don't sacrifice who you are to just get ahead. So what I'm picking up from this particular hand is um, you have Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobby who says anger means a boundary has been crossed. So you are sacrificing your originality so that you can you know, um, obtain power. And this power could mean, well, we have a nice house, we have a nice apartment, we live together. I don't want people to know that I'm not really happy. I don't want, uh, you're putting on a face to make everything look like it's okay so that you can maintain a certain status quo so that everything looks fine. But the, your inner teacher is saying, that you really need to address what these problems you know could be and so that you can actually enjoy your life so when you have the card that says anger means a boundary has been crossed from jungle beauty goddess chavi jungle beauty goddess chavi's message to you she's from your inner teacher is asking you to look at your life and see where you're unhappy and think of anger as a change agent anger is the reason people have left abusive relationships. People have found jobs to pay them more money. People escaped slavery, child. People have changed the world because they were angry. So don't ever ignore your anger. Don't pretend that everything is okay because never choose power over love. Now what that means is when you, you know, sometimes if you're like say you're in a job and maybe your boss is uh, verbally abusive to you or your boss doesn't respect you or you're in a relationship where you don't feel appreciated you may stick around because you feel like you have so much to lose now i'm not saying you have to leave sometimes we have to address issues that's why she says anger means a boundary has been crossed fix cross you must fix it this this could be a, a conversation with someone this could be you know it doesn't a letter it could be a phone call it doesn't mean you have to do something drastic but your inner teacher is telling you not to ignore your feelings and not to uh, write off anger as an unimportant unimportant emotion as you're climbing the social ladder or as you're choosing to stay in a situation where you feel that you're getting some type of material exchange also the car says be original so being original means that you really have to you can't so let me just say this let's just think about um, somebody who's angry and they're just thinking like you know what this is just life I'm just gonna stay here and uh, let me just think about Harriet Tubman because she's one of my favorite people and I'm not, not saying this to be offensive to anyone her anger is was her change agent when she decided that she wanted a better life for herself right and when she decided to create a better life for herself she became her she tapped into her original self your original self is a part of you that uses your imagination a jungle beauty goddess of fire represents your imagination your third eye so when you're being original you are a person who you're so powerful because there's no one else like you and this is when you tap into your what is unique about you and what is unique about you is what is most powerful about you do you understand it's not powerful to main to stay in a situation where you are suppressing your real feelings because you're just trying to you know keep up the status quo keep up the images or or keep you know or make sh people think that everything is okay when you do that you lose your your power which is the, you know your ability to be an original and unique human being when you are able to be a unique and original human being this goes taps into the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara and her message is do something physical that brings you pleasure so basically 
your inner teacher's message to you is to create a lesson plan around your anger and look at people throughout history who have been angry and how this anger has changed the world and they utilize this tool to tap into their unique voice to tap into their contributions to society this is what your inner teacher wants you to do so now I'm going to give you a message from your star alien being this is the message from your inner teacher from your star alien being what do you tell yourself before you go to bed each night write a half a page of your ideal life in the present tense each night before you go to bed for 60 to 30 days read it with emotion and enthusiasm after about 45 days you will begin to see magical and positive changes in your life you are the teacher you are seeking look within yourself only you have the answers to all of the questions on how to improve your life and live the life of your dreams. I really hope this video helped you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the burgundy and black lace Divine Feminine Butterfly, this reading is for you. So first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner teacher. So the first card I have for you is from the Demater, the Jungle Beauty Goddess Father. And his message to you is, let's get him in focus here. Never give anyone or anything the power to change who you are. The next message I have for you from your inner teacher is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And her message to you is, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby's message to you is if you don't change you will become obsolete and the last card that I have for you from your inner teacher is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara and Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara's message to you is the answer is in the questions so the energy that I'm picking up from your inner teacher is that you need to update your lesson plan, your skill set. You know, our teachers need to take classes every year to maintain their certification in order to be able to teach so that their information does not become obsolete. So your inner teacher, you have one card that says, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future D DNA? So right now, is your skill set up to date so that you are able to acquire the things that you need to create the future that you want um, what I don't know if you want to be if you want to go back to school or if you plan to um, write a book maybe you know reading books about writing books or whatever it is the cards are saying to you um, is your current behavior investing in your D so investing means that you are taking classes, that you are learning new content, that you are doing everything within your power to update your certification. Your inner teacher is saying, look, make sure that everything you do um, correlates with what it is you want to accomplish in the future. So if you want to be a cook, are you taking cooking classes? You get the picture. Or depleting your future DNA. Depleting your future DNA simply means that your behavior is just is taking you away from your dreams and goals so for example if you spend a lot of time on social media or you know sometimes we all have um, think we all do things that deplete our future DNA and what that means is 
we're participating in activities that is not enhancing our, you know, is, we are not involved in activities that are a part of our personal development and growth. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I call them our rabbit holes. Like my rabbit holes, I like to watch a good Amazon fashion show. You know, I'm going to buy something and people try on clothes and I don't know why I could spend two hours on Amazon looking at somebody in a dress. You know what I'm saying? A dress that I plan to buy. But it's a rabbit hole for me. It's something that depletes me. It depletes my time. It, you know, I could have used that time to work on my book or do something else. So your your current, your inner teacher is really asking you to take a look at your um, your skill set is it up to date? Is your certification up to date for what you want to accomplish? Are you wasting time doing things that are not helping you to grow and to accomplish your dreams? The next card I have is, this is really interesting to me, is that you have one card that says, is your current behavior investing in or depleting your future DNA? Are you doing, you know, and then you have another card that says, from the Journal Beauty Goddess Father, the matter that says, um, never give anyone or anything the power to change who you are. Now, it almost seems like these two cards are in opposition. But what it's really saying is, you know, when you figure out who you are and what you want to accomplish, you maintain the core, the um, essential you, the core you, your core values, your core beliefs. You don't let anything take that away from you. So your inner teacher is asking you to make sure your skill set is up to date, that you have um, all of the knowledge, the um, technical skills, the that you're reading books, that you're doing everything you can to get where you want to go. But you also have a card that's saying, don't change who you are. Don't change. Like if you really, really want to be, um, you know, a hula hoop champion, like that is your goal. So you should be watching videos on how to hula hoop and how to, you know, get into competitions, how to, uh, you, you, you get the picture, right? So don't change who you are. They're not asking you to change. They're asking you to improve, update your lesson plan, update your skill set. Take some more classes, update your certification. Your, your inner teacher is concerned about you, you know, doing things that are enhancing your future goals and dreams. The next card I have for you, oh my God, is a card from Jungle Beauty Goddess, um, Chalby, which we went over, is if you don't change, you will become obsolete. That ties right back into your inner teacher begging you to update your certification, to update your skill set, to take classes, to read books, to take workshops, to go to seminars, do whatever you need to do to update your skill set. You see, they're very, your inner teacher is very concerned about you not utilizing your resources and your time to be the best you that you can be. So the next card that I have, and this is interesting because it all ties together, and it's from uh, Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara that we went over, and she says, your answer is in the questions. This is actually one of my favorite cards, because when we say your answer, the answers are in the questions, teachers love a good question. I mean, when you take a test, right? What are we doing? We asking, we're asking questions, right? Your inner teacher is saying that Questions are the psychological tools that we use to dig into the consciousness of humanity, of humans, of each other, to see if what they want or what you want is in alignment. So when you ask, when you go for a job interview, what do they do? They ask questions. And why are they asking questions? Because they want to find out the answers as to whether or not you're going to fit into their establishment. So your inner teacher want you to ask yourself a series of questions to see if you um, are on the pathway, on the correct journey to what you really want to accomplish in this lifetime. And so some questions I like to t tell people to ask, you know, when you... Um, when you give a job a title, 
you block so many other aspects of what you could do with that particular skill set. So let's just say, for example, I like to ask people, do, do you want to work inside or outside? Do you want to work with people on a one-on-one -on -one basis? Or do you want to work with them in a group setting? Do you want to work with people um, who are, uh, you know, ha happy, who are self-selected? Self-selected means that these are people who signed up, who volunteered to be in your presence. If you want to work with people who are there because it's, you know, they're court appointed, like, you know, if a person is in trouble, then that's the energy. Maybe some people do really well with people who are someplace they don't want to be. Um, if you want to be a doctor, you have to be comfortable with people who are sick and grouchy. Does that make sense? So I always tell people, don't give it a title. Just give it a feeling. Do you want to be, you know, what type of energy do you want to exchange with that person? Do you want your days to be the same? Do you like working with people, ideas, paper, pen, computers? Do you like to work with your hands? So basically, your inner teacher want you to start asking yourself a series of questions to see what your strengths and weaknesses are so that you can create a lesson plan to update your skill set so that you can make sure that you are prepared for your future. So now I have a message for you from your star alien being. Monitor your thoughts, words, and actions for the next 30 days. List three things that you accomplished that day that you are really proud of. List three, three things that you did that day that were distractions. How much exercise did you get that day? On a scale of one to 10, what was your general mood for each day? If you are sad, give yourself a one, five is neutral, and 10 is extremely happy. Do not judge yourself. Do not put a lot of pressure on yourself. For 30 days, we want you just to monitor yourself so that you will have a clear picture of who you are untampered. What act of kindness did you display? Pay attention to how often you smile, how often you compliment other people, how often other people compliment you. What could you have done differently to have a better day? We want you to think about that. So after each day, you're going to just take a note of your mood. You're going to take a note of what you accomplished. You're going to take a note of your distractions. You're going to pay attention to your mood. And then we want you to write, what could I have done differently today to feel more in alignment with my soul's plan? What did you do today that was joyful? Did you have fun? Do this for 30 days without judgment. At the end, look back at your journal and create something artistic that summarizes your observation. This is the lesson plan that your inner teacher want you to use to create a life that's in alignment with your soul's divine plan. Before you can create a plan, you must first look at the agenda that is currently taking place. I really hope this video helped you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling, if you selected the light blue denim butterfly, this reading is for you. I am going, first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you a message from your inner teacher. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you from your inner teacher is unconditional self-love is the secret to success. The next card I have for you from your inner teacher is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Sinai's message to you is 
If you are waiting to deserve happiness, it will elude you forever. The next card I have for you from your inner teacher is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess, Kalahari, Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you from your inner teacher is, well, let me get it in focus. Give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. My collective intuition about your hand from your inner teacher is that a lot of times people think there's always a lesson. Like when something goes wrong, we feel like if I had done A, B, C, D, and E, things would have worked out different for me. If I had not gone that day, if I had not talked to that person, if I had not made that mistake, my life would be different. And the message from your inner teacher is that sometimes there is no lesson because lessons imply blame. It means that there's somebody, it's somebody's fault. And sometimes you have done, you have to accept the fact that you have done everything right. And if you were to go back in time and change one factor, you would have to change even the stars, how the stars aligned. There were, there's everything would have to be different. Every person in the universe would have to go back exactly in that moment for things to be different. So when mistakes happen, people beat themselves up because they feel like, oh my God, um, if only I had made a better decision, if only I was a different person, if only I was smarter, if only I had done things differently. And what happens is you create this uh, spiral of self-defeat and self-blame and you just attract more negative events into your life and it could be in the area of finding a job that you love or making money or finding a loving relationship but when we be, but when we beat ourselves up about our past and we emit this frequency of shame and embarrassment and guilt and sadness we have a hard time allowing real happiness, real joy, real prosperity, real success to come into our lives. So your inner teacher's message to you is that you need to understand that sometimes there are no lessons. There are no lessons. There is no one to blame. There's it's nobody's fault. And, and the reason that we have come to earth is because humans have signed up to experience a range of emotions. A, a, you know, grief, joy, happiness, sadness, um, you know, to humor. So this is when you have the card, um, Jungle Beauty Goddess, the me, when she says, Give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. She's saying, like, look, there is no lesson to learn. You did nothing wrong. Um, sometimes things happen because our soul wants to experience a range of emotions. It's not your fault. You're, you did everything right. So you have the card that says, it's impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. So basically, you have you have the card from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari, which she rep represents our heart chakra. You have to just, I know people always say, how do you love yourself? How can I love myself? You know, let me just say this. It's difficult to really love yourself in this society. If you think that you're beautiful, people say you're conceited. If you talk to about your accomplishments, then people say you're bragging. So there's this balance that you have to walk, that we all have to stride, and kind of like putting ourselves out. A lot of comedians, they put themselves down. We laugh at their jokes about themselves, right? And so we, so in a world where, you know, um, people are feeling really hurt and defeated, if you feel bad about yourself. You know, people say, well, love yourself, love yourself. And so what does that look like? 
I'm just going to tell you, like, don't be afraid to say, you know what? I really did a good job on those cookies. Those cookies were bomb, you know? Or I really did a good job on that video. Or I really, that was a, that was a good, you know, that, I made some good bath water. All right. Sometimes I tell my granddaughter, the bath water was a bomb, you know? <laughs> it was a good bath water that day. So don't be afraid to give yourself compliments. Don't be afraid to love yourself. So, it, because the way that you love yourself, the way that you see yourself, of course, you know, that's the frequency that you're going to be giving out to the universe. And you're going to be attracting people to you who feel the same way about you that you feel about yourself. So, forgive yourself. And people don't, society doesn't like to, if a person forgives himself, we feel like, well, we... I don't know. I feel like people want to see people sulk. They want to see people um, look like they're really sorry, you know. But let go. Let let go of your past mistakes. And know that there are so many factors. There were so many stars lined up. There were so many entities, so many spirits, so many angels, so many rims of reality occur on that moment that really had nothing to do with you. So the lesson is there is no lesson. There is no one to blame. You experience the emotion. Feel that emotion. And that's another thing. Feel the emotion of fear of that day. You know, like when you were there. Feel the emotion of, of hurt. Don't dwell in it, but feel it and just be human. And I think this is why sometimes humans watch certain movies and we find ourselves bawling you know why you're bawling you're not bawling over that movie because you know that movie isn't real you're bawling because of the things that have happened to you that you have no control over that's why we listen to those songs that make us cry because we need to cleanse our soul so one of the things i would tell you to do is whatever has happened in your life that you really hate to happen you know, go back to that moment, um, feel it, you know, feel those emotions, cleanse your spirit, um, you know, and just move forward and go watch your good, whatever your movie is that helps you laugh and helps you cry. My favorite movie for when I was going through my divorce was um, Dumb and Dumber, the first one. Oh. That's my get through movie. That is my, I don't know why, don't, don't ask me. It was um, Dumb and Dumber. That movie, whenever I'm not happy or I was feeling down. And, you know, the part when, <laughs> you know, when Jim Carrey is like crying. And he's like, Harry, you know, like, I have you, I just, sometimes, you know, he. I think he was just saying how, because he loved this girl. And he was just like, how you ever just wanted to be somebody. I was just like. But it was just something about Dumb and Dumber that made me laugh and made me cry and it always cleansed my spirit. So, and I'm really happy. And if you're not allowing yourself to feel a range of emotions, this is going to stop you from feeling joy. So remember, if you don't, because what happens is once you stop feeling, you stop feeling everything. You know what I mean? It's like if you lose your taste buds. If you lose your taste, you don't just taste sweet stuff. You don't taste anything. So it's important to feel all of your emotions. It's important to to just be human sometimes. Cry it out. Go find yourself a good movie, a good song, and cry it out. Joe. Um, unconditional self-love is a secret to success. Loving yourself, loving your flaws, loving your cellulite, child, loving your loving your gray hairs, loving your life, just saying, you know what, this is just who I am. And if you can't love me, then you don't need to be a part of my inner circle. Um, and so basically, um, you know, again, we have the card, it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. So if your inner teacher wants you to understand that please understand that everything that happens to us there is no lesson you know just doing this reading broke me down for about three days there is no lesson lesson implies blame and uh, as a human society we love to blame somebody no matter what happens we want somebody to pay we want somebody to um accept the consequences or be accountable and sometimes there really isn't anybody's fault there are no lessons and that is the lesson 
the lesson is to forgive ourselves and love ourselves and know that we have come to this planet to experience the ups and the downs, the good and the bad, the in and the out. Um, so this is the message from your inner teacher. And now I'm going to give you the message from your star alien being. This is the message from your star alien being, from your inner teacher. Humans have been trained to see themselves and value themselves only through serving others, including their concept of God. Love has always been, con con been a conditional concept. It is something you deserve and earn through obedience and acceptance. The road to self-love is still unraveling in the human consciousness. Self-love is associated with being selfish or selfless. These are two extremes. If you don't contribute your time, money, and resources, you will be called selfish. When you give too much of yourself, you are considered to be a martyr or a saint. Love has so many rules of compliance. You cannot love yourself without loving others. The secret is finding the balance that feels right for you. Love is the most unpure, tainted, and conditional emotion among humans. When humans are able to be honest with themselves about what it means to love another human, they will be able to explore the ideology of self-love. Think of something that you love. Why do you love it? What is your definition of love? Do you love what has been your experience with love, your family, your friends, your mates? Create your own definition based on your life experiences. Look at people you admire. Who do you think love themselves and why? Once you have done your research, create your own definition of self-love and apply it to your life. Understand that this definition will be uniquely your own. Encourage other people to do the same. Engage with people whose ideas of love and core beliefs and values match your own. Include your idea about God, angels, etc. in your definition. You can't love yourself until you know what it means, what love truly means in and of itself. I really hope this video helped you in some way. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.